Hey guys, Arby here. Today I am doing the Eureka Map Grade 1 Module 1 Lesson 18 homework. So let's take a look at number one. The pictures below are not equal. Make the pictures equal and write a true number sentence. So again, like I always say, one of the most important things when doing a math problem is understanding the problem itself. So let's review. Again, the pictures below are not equal. So what does not equal mean? It means that they are not equal, so they don't have the same total or, yeah, like total or they don't, like their total is not the same. So that's what not equal means. And then make the pictures equal. So we have to find out what is it making it equal and then we make it equal. And then we write a true number sentence. So let's see how many hearts there's in the first box. So here in the first box, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hearts. And then here there's one, two, three, four, five, six smiling faces. So so we know there's nine hearts here and six here. So they're not equal because nine does not equal to six. So now we have to make the pictures equal. So we know that nine minus six equals three. So that means that to make this equal, we have to draw three more smiling faces. So we can do one, two, three. So now there are nine smiling faces and nine hearts. So now the pictures are equal. So after we do this, now we have to write a true number sentence. So here there's one, two, three, four, five hearts. So five plus one, two, three, four, four, equals to six plus three. So five plus four equals nine, and six plus three equals, also equals nine. So that means that five plus four equals six plus three. So this is what a true number sentence is. Okay, number two. Circle the true number sentences and rewrite the false sentences to make them true. So again, what a true number sentence is, is that the total both equal the same. So they're both the same numbers. So let's look at A. Four equals four. So four equals four. So this is a true number sentence. So we circle this one. And even though they're not adding anything in this one, but this is still equal because four equals four so therefore it's a true number sentence and here for b five plus one equals six plus one well we know five plus one equals six and six plus one equals seven so this is not true so now we have to rewrite it to make them true so this equals six and this equals seven so to make six equals into seven we have to add one more to this one so instead of five plus one, we can do five plus two equals six plus one. So this is seven and this is also seven. And there also is another way to make this sentence true. Instead of adding one to this part, we could have um, did instead of six plus one, we could have done six plus zero, but either way works. And for C, 3 plus 2 equals 5, and 5 plus 0 also equals 5. So 3 plus 2 equals to 5 plus 0. So this one is a true number sentence. And for D, 6 plus 2 equals 4 plus 4. 6 plus 2 equals 8, and 4 plus 4 also equals 8. So this one is also a true number sentence. Okay, this one for number E. 3 plus 3 equals 6, and 6 plus 2 equals 8. So this is not true. So we know that this is 8, and this is 6. So in order to make this to 8, we have to add 2 more. So instead of doing 3 plus 5, we can do 3 plus... Or instead of doing 3 plus 3, sorry, we do 3 plus 5 equals six plus two. 
So 3 plus 5 equals 8, and 6 plus 2 also equals 8. So this is a true number sentence. For f, 9 plus 0 equals 9, and 7 plus 2 equals 9. So 9 plus 0 equals 7 plus 2. So this one is a true number sentence. And this one, we have 4 plus 3, which is 7, and 2 plus 4, which is 6. So this is not a true number sentence. So this is 7, and this is 6. So in order to make this equal to that, we can add one more to this one. So we could do 4 plus 3 equals 2 plus 5. So 7 and 7. And instead of doing 2 plus 5, we could have also done like 3 plus 4 because that would also be 7. And instead of doing this, we could have also kept 2 plus 4 and just done 4 plus 2 because they would also be true number sentences. So for H, 8 equals 8 plus 0. So this is a true number sentence because 8 plus 0 equals 8 and 8 equals 8. So even though nothing is being added on this side, it is still true because 8 equals 8. And for this one, 6 plus 3 equals 9 and 5 plus 4 also equals 9. So this one is a true number sentence. And next page. Okay, so number three, find the missing part to make the number sentences true. So what this means is we fill in these blanks in order to make them all true number sentences. So let's look at A. 8 plus 0 equals blank plus 4. So let's first find out what 8 plus 0 is. Well, we know that 8 plus 0 equals 8. So that means something has to be added to 4 here. So equals 8. So one way we can figure this out is to subtract 4 from 8 because this is 8 and we need to find out what plus 4 equals 8. So we know 8 minus 4 equals 4. So this must be 4. So 8 plus 0 equals 8 and 4 plus 4 equals 8. So this is a true number sentence. And B 7 plus 2 equals 9, and now we have to find what plus 9 equals 9. So one way we can do, again, is to subtract 9 from 9. So 9 minus 9 equals 0. So this is our answer. 7 plus 2 equals 9, and 9 plus 0 equals 9. And then here, 5 plus 2 equals 4 plus blank. So 5 plus 2 equals 7. So... We can subtract 4 plus 7 because 7 is our total. So 7 minus 4 equals 3. So 4 plus 3 equals 7. And for D, 5 plus blank equals 6 plus 0. So 6 plus 0 equals 6. So 6 minus 5 equals 1. So 5 plus 1 equals 6 plus 0. For E, 6 plus blank equals 4 plus 3. So 4 plus 3 equals 7. So 7 minus 6 equals 1. And then for F, 5 plus 4 equals 9. So 5 plus 4 equals blank plus 3. So 9 minus 3 equals 6. So 6 plus 3 equals 9. So 5 plus 4 equals 9. And 6 plus 3 equals 9. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. See you guys next time. Bye!